Yeah, everyone, um, this is your girl Ray doing another video. Real quick, we're going to talk about sex magic. We're going to talk about how powerful it is, how wonderful it is, how much it is needed. Because sex magic is the only thing can bring a child into this world, right? Oh, yes. I was born here with sex magic. Your parents were born here with sex magic. You was born here by sex magic. Sex magic is a wonderful thing. And we're going to talk about it. We're going to get honest with it. Let's talk about the man's penis. Let's talk about how big these man dicks really are. Yeah, I'm getting deep. I'm getting dirty. I'm getting dark. Now, for my um male uh, uh subscribers, uh, you can please exit the video. Let's wait for the men to leave. I'm talking to the women right now. Oh no, no, I see a few men still in the um the room. Oh, you want to stay? Okay. I'm not going to fight against you. <laughs> but I, I do want to talk about the men's penis. I do want to talk about it. Because a lot of you men, um, you out there, you got these little dicks in your little pants. You're wearing these uh, sweatpants. And I can see your junk. I can see it. I can see how big your dick is, how long it is, how short it is. I can, I can see it when you wear sweatpants. My name is Arabia Barbosa. I'm the BT1000. Welcome to the house of Barbosa. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, for any men that's in the room, can you please exit? You're not gonna exit, okay? You wanna you wanna hear about your dicks? All right. Let me tell you something about a man. <clears throat> when a man wakes up in the morning, he usually has an erection, right? He got hardwood. It's hard. It look good. He's just simply going to the bathroom. He goes in there. He goes to the bathroom. He might jump in the shower, clean his little penis off and stuff. He cleaning it off, cleaning off the head, cleaning that inside little um button that shoots out the sperm and all that. Because his sperm and his urine comes from that one organ, right? Let's be honest with each other. Let's talk to each other like adults. We are all adult here. Let's talk about sex in a real lifetime version. A lot of people are gonna be like, "Oh, we gotta clap this page. We gotta get, we gotta get rid of Arabia bubbles." I'm talking truthfully. Truthfully, mm -hmm. yes. Every man I ever slept with had to clean their dick off, and I had to see the dick. I had to see it. Before I did anything with the dick. Sometimes I used to just put condoms. Slip the condom on. The man, he, he pretended he don't know how to slip on a condom. Goddamn son of a bitch. You've been fucking women all this time. You don't know how to slip on a goddamn condom. You better learn. Better learn how to do it. My eyes watch everything. Now... I only had a few picks of the litter that I picked. I picked Birdman, and I picked another man. The other man I picked is much younger than Birdman. Mm -hmm. And both of these men are fathers. One of them is a grandfather. Okay. Let's get that straight. The other man I picked... He was beautiful. I used to braid his hair every 
Saturday. On a Saturday morning like this, we'd be sitting out and I would be braiding his hair. I used to love to braid his hair. I used to love to touch his hair. He used to love to touch his face. Anytime he slept in the bed with me, he automatically curled up where my pussy area is at. And me and him used to have beautiful sex together. Beautiful sex. I loved him too. I was afraid of him too. But he don't come around no more. Because um, he got his own life. And he taught me a lot of things that I did not know. And I'm much older than him. Young man. I think he just turned um, 40 a few months back. His birthday is going to come up again. So I got to get my cash app to hit him off for his birthday. Um he probably think I forgot about him. I did not. He wants to come to my house. He's unsure. He's unsure. And that's 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 okay. You know, I have to be out there. You know, but I know he sleep with other women. That's fine. I don't care about the other women. Just be good to me. <laughs> be good to your your girl. Arabia Barbosa. Be good to me. And he don't call me by my first name. He call me Ray. <laughs> he the only man that called me Ray. <laughs> but I remember those days me and him used to live together. Yes. I lived with him more than I lived with any other man. And the last man that's in my life now, uh, he knows. He knows about that young man. Both men know about each other. See, that's how a real woman gets down. Both men know each other. They know what they look like. They all talked with each other. They went out and got a couple of beers and, you know, talk, talk to each other. Mm-hmm. Yes. Both of these men. No other men could do that. The other men got intimidated. Start trying to fight your girl, Arabia Barbosa. <laughs> I used to beat all of them. Kick them and, and, and just kick them and just keep kicking. Because I'm a short lady. I'm like five feet. How much can I really do to you unless I got a gun or a knife? Think about it. But these two men... I had to fight. There was not easy days all the time, especially when these men get high and drunk. Now, you really got to fight them. But it is what it is. That's part of my life. Let's talk about sex. I'm talking about sex, not relationships so much because I've never been married. Just sex. And I did all this in my 40s. And I'm getting ready to leave out of my 40s and enter 50 years old. My God, I never thought I would be here this long. Because all the wilding I did, I was with street organizations. All is mighty, all is well. I come as I am, I am as I come. I come as an ignorant sin. VL flower, I put that on my strength, motherfuck the power. Them men knew. That bitch be rocking the red. She got red flags everywhere. Sometime when they come into my home, back in the day, they used to find the comforter covered with red rags. Red rags of the people nation. Oh, yes. Yes. I talk about it freely on my other page. I don't talk about it too much on this one. But you will see me fly my red flag again. Because a motherfucker on YouTube decides she want to get up there 
and and try to bash uh, uh, your your girl Arabia Barbosa. Nobody, nobody attacks me. You better not attack me. You better think close about doing that. But um, you know, I just want to talk about dicks. I don't want to talk about YouTube beefs and YouTube argument. I want to talk about dicks right now. Can we talk about the man penis? Can we talk about how long it is, how short it is, how fat it is? I don't need nobody to send me no dick pic. <laughs> I'm not going to accept it. But um, for some reason, you know, some people just seem to think that's the right thing to do. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm 50 years old. I grew up looking at sex magazines. Remember those sex magazines, the Playboy, then they had the Penthouse, then they had the other magazines, because I lived in New York, so I know about sex magazines, I know about uh, porn movies, I know about all that. I'm, I'm very sexual. I'm very sexual, and you know, another woman tried to expose me as being a sexual demon. But sex is very normal. It's very normal. Yes. Oh, 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 excuse me. She was married at the time when she said that to me. <laughs> See how these married women get down? Some of you. Not all of you. <laughs> Some of you get down like that. You want to talk about me? Okay. I be the biggest whore out here. I'm a whole whore out here. Peace out, New York love. One.